fugitive cop who carried out a grenade attack in a stolen helicopter in protest at Venezuela's government has posted the defiant video claiming he was surrounded. Oscar Perez appeared with a bloody face in a series of Instagram clips, claiming that he was being shot at in the poor neighborhood outside the capital Caracas. Perez, a 36-year-old former police pilot, is wanted for using a stolen helicopter to lock grenades and shoot at government buildings. They are firing at us with grenade launchers. We said we are going to surrender but they do not want to let us surrender. They want to kill us, said Perez, seemingly wearing a bulletproof vest. As he crouched down in what appeared to be a small house and gunshots were heard in the background. His face becomes increasingly covered with blood with each video. Venezuela, don't lose hope. Now that you have power so that we can all be free, he said in an earlier video. Staring into the camera and telling his children he loves, hope, to them again. President Trump, he knows that his government has described him as a fanatic. Some members of Maduro's government scoffed at Perez on Monday morning. What a coward now that he's caught like a rat! Tweeted Friesen's minister Iris Varela. Where is the courage he had to attack military units, kill and injure officials and steal weapons? An action film star who portrays himself as a James Bond or Rambo-like figure on social media. Perez has added serial twists to Venezuela's long-running political drama. President Nicolas Maduro described Perez's actions in June as a coup and a terrorist attack and launched a manhunt for him and his co-conspirators. The nationwide manhunt was launched for Oscar Perez after he targeted him. what he said was a tyrannical government. He went into hiding afterward, 
only to pop up two weeks later at an opposition vigil for anti-government protesters killed during demonstrations that rocked the country last year. Then in December, a video posted on Perez's YouTube account shows armed, masked men taking control of military barracks under cover of night. They smash photos of Maduro and his predecessor, the late Hugo Chavez, handcuffed around a dozen soldiers and berate them for supporting dictatorship in Venezuela. 